guys. This is part one restoration. We are doing uh, top collar here. This is the five reel, nine line version. Got to get it ready for a customer who has bought a couple of these. And he is actually a subscriber. So thanks for subscribing. Thanks for reaching out. And I will be happy to go through these for you. Make sure they're tip top shape before, before you get them. And they definitely need some work. So look, I start la started last night. Um, and here's what I found out. Um, let me show you in here. I had to take the uh, bill validator out. Uh, the harness, the complete harness out um, because the wires were cut and so I'm not able to make the connection to give it power and without a bill validator you cannot play the game at all so um, I need to swap that out so I got a spare. The spare I had is not the right one <laughs> so I have two here that are not, no good, not going to work. Uh, so what I'm going to do just in order to get the game running is I'm going to take it out of a known working one, which is my top dollar deluxe. Uh, so I'll take this machine down for now uh, just so I can get a working part out of it. I do have extra bill validator harnesses that I'll, I'll get. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, power this thing off and start working on getting, uh, getting that out of here. So... All right, let's get started. So first thing I need to go ahead and remove the uh, ticket in, ticket out, or the ticket printer. Just to give me some more space. It's not really necessary, but uh, the thing with these SML, or the SAVPs, which is this version of IGT, um, they are very tight. It is a very tight fit in here. So the more room you can give yourself, the better, I always say. I'm sorry if it's loud. I've got an AC running in here, um, and it's not really cutting it. I'm getting a bigger unit installed this week. So because it's going to be a hot summer, and in, inside of this uh, half garage <laughs> with these machines on, it's, it's, it's like a furnace. So I had to do something. All right, anyway, let's, uh, and the guy's out there mowing the yard just to top it all off. So here we go. Let me take the uh, cash box out. I'll go ahead and take this out and it doesn't look like it's screwed down to anything so I should be able to just uh, oh, I gotta unhook the power up here it's another Molex connector go should just lift right out like this and unplug the USB all right so there we go that's the whole unit there so let's uh move on over here and I know you probably I can't see what you're seeing so I, I'll just do my best to describe what it is I'm doing so you guys can tell so I'm just putting this uh this whole harness um here let me just shrink it even more there we go you guys should be good now so putting this in there got to hook up the USB stuff out of the way go ahead and hook up the USB it'll be easier goes right right into the back plane back there and then I need to hook up this power Molex 2 once I get it seated in there there's a wire hanging out here I need to make sure I don't pinch there we go Up. Just hooking up the Molex to the power at the top, very top of the harness. Just not wanting to go in there. There we go. Alright, that's in there. These machines came with literally no, all the screws were removed. All the nuts were removed, so I'm gonna have to fill that all in so that when uh, these things get shipped out, there's no movement and stuff. Yeah, because we don't, we don't want that. All right, so let me put the fill validator head in. And 
and then a cash box. And I obviously have the printer out of this one as well. So let's close this. Okay, and we'll turn the machine on. Now I've already uh, I've already redone the software on this. Um, it did not have the software. I had to get order those, so it took a while to get in. Um, now the software is here, we can actually hopefully play the game unless there's other errors I gotta take care of here. And uh, it needs a thorough cleaning. I think these were out in a storage shed somewhere. So I'm going to have to go through all of this. We're going to polish up the, uh, the silver on here, make it all nice and shiny, take all the buttons out, clean the buttons, and uh, then clean the uh, armrest up. If that doesn't clean up, I have extra armrests. Need to replace the monitor here. I don't know if you can tell, but it's uh, got a lot of lines on it, so the monitor needs to be replaced. Plus, the touch screen is not working too well. But that's easy, that's an easy part. I'll get that flipped out. This touch screen is actually in good shape. And the top glass and bonus is, or the top glass and the lights and all that are working just fine too, so. So, we have a status code here. of F and M, which means the front door is not registering closed and the middle is not registering closed. So let's see if we can work on that. Let's see why those aren't. Uh... Okay, there we go. So the M is out. So the front should probably be good too. Nope. Checking the optics here. So I'm pretty sure F is the front here. I might need to look. Yeah, this is the middle for M. M is middle. And I'm pretty sure this is front. So something's not lining up. It was a minute ago. So let me just check here. Just cleaning off the uh, optics because I suspect it's uh, the optics that are bad. I think something got unplugged here. Yeah. 
the the switch. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. So when I push this back in there, I unplug this. All right, I'm gonna do the right thing and turn the machine off <laughs> before you start messing with any wiring. I mean, some wiring you don't need to, but uh, this looks like power to me, so I don't wanna mess with it. I'm gonna take this out because I can't I can't feel back in there. There's not enough room, so I'm going to uh I think I got it. We will find out. Just being careful, we'll make sure I don't yank it again. I obviously yanked it when I pushed this back. Sorry for that little jump there. I'm just waiting for it to boot up here to see if he fix the problem. Yep, it's gone. It's good. Look at that. I think we're ready. Uh, the raggedy old bill in here. There's one thing, I need to enable the bill validator because I disabled it earlier. So let me do that. And uh, <laughs> I've already locked myself out. That'll get removed, there's a little latch down here that is a problem and I'll just take it out so you don't have to worry about it locking you up so I'm gonna put my uh, EP in so I can get into the menu get it set up uh, cash handling devices it's touch screen so bad 
place it here. It's hard to get to the top. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's see. Next. Next. Physical build validator enabled. Yes. Come on. Try it again. We have a blue light here now, which is a good sign. Obviously, the connection's not working. Place the door, place this, so a lot more to come, but uh, this is round one, one machine. I've got two more I gotta go through, so, and I gotta get a bunch of parts, obviously, because these, these bill validator harnesses aren't gonna cut it. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me that subscribe and the thumbs up, and uh, I'll get back to just doing some random play also, but uh, I know a lot of you like to see uh, restoration and repairs, so we'll do that too. All right, guys, take it easy. See you later. Bye-bye.